Hello, and welcome to Mary. Providing safe collection of hazardous waste is important to everyone. That's why today we've created a video to show you the steps that must be taken as you move your hazardous waste throughout your facility to your main accumulation area. As part of your training, you'll become familiar with where hazardous containers are located in your facility, where clean containers are stored, and where to take them when they are full. Remember the word lid. It summarizes the three things you need to do when you locate, inspect, and document the hazardous waste containers. Locate where your facility keeps clean containers. You'll need them to replace the full ones. To help you locate where your hazardous containers are, bring along your collection log. You'll notice that many of your hazardous containers are in locked rooms or in nurses' stations. Refer to your collection log when checking each location to make sure it has the correct number of containers. If one container doesn't have a hazardous label on it, be sure to replace it. Also, make sure that each container is in good working order, meaning no cracks or no leaks. Finally, are the container lids secure? If not, close them. If your containers are full, you'll need to move them to the main accumulation area within three days. This can be done by hand or by cart if the container is heavy. You must document the date when you first bring your full container into the main accumulation area. If you notice something that shouldn't be in your hazardous waste container, like a sharp or biohazard material, document it and mention something to your manager. Together, we can encourage the safe handling of hazardous waste. Thank you for watching.